a conversation. I, on I pressed live. the wrong button, but we're live now. Oh, hey, 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 hey. So, but we're all like Sam. Dead to ten seconds, like thirty seconds ago. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Jeff. He's Sam. She's Jen. Uh, our brand is Slugfest Games. Our game is Red Dragon Inn. We are we are running a Kickstarter right now for the Red Dragon Inn Eight. You should all go check it out um, if you didn't already check it out. Um, but who am I kidding? You probably all already checked it out and already backed it and stuff. But for those two of you out there who haven't checked it out, there'll be links in the uh, chat from Wrench's little helper. Go check it out and um, you know back it because the game is really fun. And yeah. RDI 8, a new standalone expansion to our Red Dragon Inn series. Uh, so those of you who already have seen the campaign will know that you've all been like pulling your hair and gnashing your teeth over, oh, will we make the stretch goal for the fifth character? So um, we're, we're, we are now, as you can see, we are, we are approaching this uh, final stretch goal. Da -da 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 Okay. the final stretch go da, 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 da. okay um <laughs> that was enough of that uh so so yeah the the final stretch goal um is going to be that we add nerodia the gorgon wench to da, da, da. the uh to the game um with uh, plus the black dragon depths uh stuff for the pub crawl variant so we're not playing the pub crawl variant because we want to show you Nerodia. But here comes Nerodia. Sam, it's please Nerodia. describe how Nerodia plays. Uh, Nerodia the Petrifier is a Gorgon, and she petrifies you. Ah, go yeah. figure. <laughs> um, so she has two kinds of mechanics built into her cards. She has petrification cards, like this one, Staring Contest, Your Funeral. Where I pick another player, they pay me a gold, and petrify two cards. What does that mean? It means they take two cards from their hand and hand them to me face down, and I put them in a pile in front of me. And those cards can later be used as a resource to pay for glare effects. So, they say I have a stony glare. Pick another player, they lose one fortitude, or if I pay three cards for the glare three... I can make them lose four fortitude instead. So some of her cards gain resources, other cards spend them. Now, those cards that I spend for the glare effects will return to their original owner's hands because they are now thawing out of their petrified stone bodies. Um, so You're not stone forever. You're not stone forever, and I'm not discarding your cards forever. I'm just putting them in a special place where you can't play with them anymore. Um <laughs> Now, if we look down at the churn order track, you'll notice that there is a new phase of Nerodia's churn, which is the decay phase, um, where I return the top card of my petrification stack to its owner. So if I don't, I gotta, I gotta spend those cards. Otherwise, I just eventually lose them all. Um, and as I go throughout the game, I'm going to attempt to petrify a bunch of cards and then fire off like two or three powerful like good glare effects uh in boss mode these these become wildly more fun and also wicked jen is petrified again yeah jen oh, so, so i already far, got it in the time you've in the time you've been talking sam jen froze and then unfroze and then froze again so, all right um and yes <laughs> chat the um right the oh it's wrenches little helper just said if they if uh when nerodia gives you back a card it goes back to your hand Yes, you, you get that card back. Um, now, it's not until after the glare effect has resolved. So, you know, if if you give me cards and then I use a glare effect on one of my cards, you don't get them back before my card resolves. So if you give me a Fort Ignore, uh, if I petrify a Fortitude Ignore and then I use it to enhance my card, you still don't have the Fortitude not until after it all resolves. Um, one other thing that wasn't wasn't fully clear, but we want to make sure to clarify it is when Net, when Nerodia petrifies one of your cards, you choose it. Yes, you give her cards. So, so you know, it's probably not going to hit your. I don't think so. Although when it does, because it's the only card in your hand, it's kind of cool and kind of bad all at the same time. And you know, so. 
so yes that's uh that's part of the deal and if you're the jeff morrows of the world and you've spent the first half of the game tailoring a perfect hand of drink ignores and i don't think so then nerodia is really bad then nerodia just hurts you so badly yeah it's it's kind of true it's kind of true hey look jen's back jen's back uh, she's if, frozen, if she's nerodia back, she's petrifies multiple cards at the same time owned by multiple players at the same time uh, so if I play a card that petrifies a card from Jen and Jeff, those cards are shuffled and stuck on the bottom of the stack. I don't pick the order in which they go. Uh, similar if, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that the rule about, the clause you said about from multiple players doesn't doesn't need to actually be in that sentence, right? Because if you, if you take two from me, you shuffle those two, right? Yeah. But if I take I, I one from I'm two people, then you also shuffle them, yeah. Yeah. Whenever pe whenever Nerodia petrifies multiple cards at the same time, they go in some random order all together on the bottom of the stack. Hooray! <clears throat> yes. uh, we do a have smear a on the tabletop. <laughs> mush them together. Put them under the stack. We don't have a go first die in this. We uh, in don't. This uh oh. But, uh, well, uh, uh oh. Object. However, will we decide? And dice, plastic, d6, doink. <laughs> Jen, Jen's getting good at T-SIM. <laughs> yeah, but now I gotta... How do I... There we go. How do I stop making dice? <laughs> Ollie informs us that We're just that gonna play make dice. We're all gonna play Yahtzee today. Um, uh, Alright, so... One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Great. Jeff, go first. Jeff always Yay. goes first. Jeff's playing okay. Ohava. You can read out a play her... On, on the, oh, you on know our... what? No, we should we oh. should describe this. We should describe this. This is going on the you know YouTube channel after, um, where where the audience isn't just our playtest crowd. Uh, so so um, <clears throat> I'm playing Ohava, the Grand Cleric. Um, she's in charge of the Great Temple. She's kind of like the Pope of Greyport, basically. Uh, <laughs> so she has, <clears throat> excuse me, she has four deities: uh, Korash, uh, God of the Sun. Um, Alana, goddess of the moon, uh, Farnia, lord of the land, and Shalni, lady of the sea. Um, these can be either uh, in in harmony or in discord. Discord, harmony. Basically, color side, not color side. Many of my cards have an icon to corresponding to one of these deities in the bottom left. Uh, <clears throat> when I play one of those cards, then after it resolves, I flip over that uh, that deity. I flip it over whichever state it's in. So if it's off, I turn it on. If it's on, I turn it off. Um, if I ever have three or more deities uh, online at the same time, um, I get uh, I get plus one to my hand size. Uh, and if I get all four of them online at the same Ooh. time, then in addition to a plus one hand size, I also get plus one to all numeric effects on my cards. So uh, yeah, she's loads of fun. And after doing my write up about Farai that I that that we posted a few days back, I'm like, Farai Farai reminds me of Ohava because I, of course I put in the update that you know the mechanics are sort of similar. So I I recently played Farai, so now I decided I want to play Ohava this time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Jen's playing the wench. Tell us about the wench, the original wench. The original wench is. Uh is a badass and cool and we love her <laughs> and uh her her deal is that some of her cards allow her to give other players special reserve drinks Ooh. special reserve drinks are the best in the house uh the downside is they are often the strongest in the house with a lot of chaser effects and uh add to that particular foible special reserve drinks always float to the top of somebody's drink me pile so if uh, if I give Sam a special reserve drink and then I order him a drink, the special reserve drink stays on top. Just like a Sue. Ta-da! Na -na. Uh, Wench is easy to play and loads of fun. Yes. And that's that's basically it, special reserves. They're good. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, let's see. Um, we got some questions already. Uh, we need a garlic beer drink card. Yeah, we know. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, we're so, thinking about it. Um, garlock bear. 
Darla there. So uh, where's Walleye? So yes, uh, a glare a glare effect makes you lose fortitude, and then you get a petrified uh, hitback card. Can you now play the hitback? Uh, yes, because uh, hitbacks happen after. Uh, it's a commonly misunderstood rule. Ignores happen before. Hitbacks have happen after. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I'm first. Uh, someone asked who who the illustrator was for Nerodia. It's on somewhere earlier. Yeah, I I think the art that most people have seen of Nerodia comes from Aaron, but that one, including this one. Yep. But the deck, the new arts you're going to see is from a uh, new artist uh, recommended to us by Aaron, in fact, uh, named uh, Deborah Renga, and so. You'll see some of her work today, and uh, yeah, it's good. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of. Um, uh, I don't need gambly things just now, although I might need them later. Um, then I'm going to. Yeah, that's okay. No, I don't need this. I can get rid of this. Okay, draw four. Um, action, action time, action time. Ooh, this is good. What's gonna do? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, nothing, nothing like some trust falls to improve team harmony. Yay! Where? Hug trust everyone. God trust everyone. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot about this card. This is pretty funny, actually. Um, each other player loses two fortitude and loses one alcohol content, which on the first per- turn of the game, you can't do. But I was already sobers. Ouch, my, my body, but also... But also... Hookie thinks you should stop being mean to me. Okay, I think I'm going to... Yep, I take two from Pookie, and oh, but before that, I actually flip over Farnier, Mm -hmm. and then I take two from Pookie, and then and Farnier uh, shines gloriously to the stained glass window. uh, So uh, then I'm going to uh, play (laughs) the classic Pookie repost. Yeah, the being the Grand Cleric has its advantages. You may play this card during your order drink phase. You order two additional drinks for free. So I'm going to order uh, one two here and then one over here yeah and then <clears throat> then i flip over korash and then whoosh then i drink oh he's floating okay doink over brew ogre brews um yep that is that that is that is an ogre brew it is uh, i take two i do one is there any uh is there any stone turning uh no, d- it's added to fine. It? Great, go. For certain definitions of fine. Um I'm going to get rid of these cards because they all say glare, and I need to petrify first. <clears throat> Strategy tip number one get your <laughs> petrify cards first. <laughs> um let's see. Oh, well, that would have been handy moments ago. But for now, which of one of you called this place a snake pit? Each other player loses one fortitude, and I petrify a card from each of them. Uh, Yep. Um, I take one, and I give you this card that I don't really need. Cool. Cool. And I use the power of... (laughs) Nobody saw that. Nobody saw what? Everything's fine. <laughs> it's what? all good. Perfect. Everything's so I've fine. Got two cards in my, in my pile here. Uh, I'm going to order this drink for you. Yeah. And I don't have a sometimes card that's. I do have a sometimes card that says order two additional drinks. Hey, look over here. Da, more da, drinks. Da. And of course, you know, when you look at a Gorgon, you petrify. Order two additional drinks, and each player that get, gets at least one also petrifies a card so here i will give you both more drinks okay you get this uh other card i don't really want hooray so you can't really see it in the sketch here but she's got like you know swirly eyes swirly eyes of i'm petrifying you there will be special effects we promise my cape will be special effects 
Uh, I I may have watched the Teen Titans go to the movies many times. Oh man, that's cute. I have a five year old. Also, Teen Titans Go is like hilarious, secretly really good. Teen Titans Go to the movie? What? So, this is, so their this is movie. just a series. This is what? The, it's the, the movie oh, the that t- came out in movie theaters. Remember movie theaters? What? Uh, no. <laughs> Those places you'd go to watch movies from studios. See, when was the last movie I watched in a theater? Uh, oh, look, more sobering after I am still sober. Um, uh, huh. It's uh, it's suboptimal, but still very good. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not going to complain about not taking damage. Womp. Yay! <laughs> Wench. Wench time. Wench time. So one thing wench those time. those folks observant on stream may notice is that the wench drew to a hand full of seven cards. It didn't matter that I had petrified some. There's a question that came up frequently early in playtest. Yeah, we tried. I mean, didn't we try a version where it also reduced your hand size? And we, yeah, that was. We, we put the awkward. kibosh on that real quick because it was mm-hmm. very not fun. For yeah. So, hey, Nerodia, trust yeah. me. After one, you'll want the whole bottle. You were oh. complaining about not having any alcohol. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, I need a card that ignores. Uh, ignores that but uh, i guess i don't so yes i will happily consume that yay of course you will you came here to drink of don't course lie. i did glug. Glug, glug. you know all 16 feet of me i've got okay. one long leg <laughs> one hollow leg one long hollow leg <laughs> one... <laughs> that's terrible one prehensile hollow, hollow leg. long leg <laughs> dying inside all right <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, we're real we're real funny here at slugfest games yep it's our it's like, our job we make a comedy game y'all snake jokes go <laughs> <laughs> there were literally riots in the street when we didn't lean hard into snake jokes we got a snake that's joke. true we, all right we, there, okay that's pretty, that's pretty a dainty good. drink it's a dainty. um you know what um are you are you gonna mess with my drink no i'm just gonna make you drink again oh you want that that sweet sweet plus hand size. Four out of five gods agree. Drinking is good for the soul. Lol. <laughs> That's a funny title. Yeah. I wonder who came up with that one. That's pretty yeah, good. I don't know. Let's see here. All right, we got to reveal that drink. Oh, and it reveals uh-huh. another drink. Uh huh. Oh, that's not so bad. Eh. Sadness. They're supposed to be the other way around. Right. Oh well. You always reveal a drink event when someone makes you drink more. <laughs> uh that is okay. kind of true it's my my power my secret strength ohava now has three deities online Ooh, i will now be drawing uh... a hand size of eight because i'm a badass so i keep these two i draw six more and nah i don't want that well do i want that no i don't really want that um okay here's what's going down uh Nerodia, tip the wench. Nerodia, tip the wench. But but I'm the wench. No, no. Uh, one we're of both our, the wench. <laughs> one of our understudies is wenching right now because we're busy. True. Did did we did we tell did we say on stream that yes we did in fact try the version where the wench gets all the tip the wenches? It was not fun. It was bad. So, it was. Chimera, uh, wench versus wench versus wrench. We we thought about that for a moment. We did think about when Wrench is here due to a spelling error. <laughs> yeah. I have we did, tipped the we wench. Think about that. You should. Uh, yeah. You, so you Shalini is now online. So oh, what this means? Is that, plus one to your numeric uh, effects. Plus one. Oh, oh snap. Okay. What are the? Uh, oh, you're both at basically the same gap now. Uh, no, Sam's a little. Okay. Respect your elders, Nerodia. If I get another player, they lose. <laughs> Three actually. Three. What? Because the gods are on my side. Ow. One, two, three. Turnabout is fair snakes. Turnabout is fair snakes. You lose uh, one fortitude and petrify, petrify a card. Uh yeah, I'm okay with that. Um actually I'm not going. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I do this. I get rid of. Uh, get Kinda, rid of when I do this maneuver, I have to make sure I don't shake the deck for five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Or if you I shake it, been... does that shuffle? It does. Yep. Oh, lordy. Uh, then I order a drink over. Yeah. And then I drink. Ooh, yes. it's a big one. Ooh. I'm going to attempt to. Not now. I'm off to an important meeting of the Holy Council with Farai in the background. Hey, look, it's Farai. Hey, look, it's Farai. That's where we got. That's where we got him. We were talking about what he should look like, and we were describing things, and and somebody described someone, and I, and I was like, wait a minute, and I brought up this card, and I'm like, is it just this guy? And we're all like, yeah, actually, that's kind of him. Yeah. So, so oh, except actually, wait, we shouldn't say that publicly. We should say like, yeah, we planned it that way all along and stuff. All along, we are very clever, and it was all <laughs> we uh, we know exactly the backstory of every character in every background of every card ever. I do. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> For some value of knowing, uh... well, that's, yes. that's it. All right, anybody mm. care? I wish I did. Okay, great. Uh, I ignored my DBA. Go. With, with murder you are. Um, Wench, you get you get back this card. All right. Um, I like that card. I like that card. I like this card. Sheep. I was actually giving you guys credit for that. So Mixel Pixels, you guys obviously had everything planned out from the moment already one was published. So honestly, I think the I think the rules for team mode are are sufficient proof that that statement isn't true <laughs> we love by the way we love team mode it's really cool it just we just had to you know bend a lot of things into place to make team mode work mm -hmm. um but now that we did it's really fun so you know go try it anyway okay um uh the wench you need a moment the in the wench. statuary hall and i am going to petrify i'm going to glare to end my turn there too. So let's so let's talk a little bit now that you're doing a glare effect. Let's talk Ooh. about how the timing all works. So, Nerodia plays a card that has glare on it. Okay, uh, before anybody does any anything, um, Nerodia must declare. Okay, I'm doing this extra thing and I'm adding the cards to it. It's a it's a cost. You can't wait for people to to you know respond and then decide. You know what? I'm actually going to glare too. So it's a it's a cost. Um, but they sit under this card. Then we see if they um. See if it resolves or whatever. Yeah. Uh, when, <laughs> apparently it resolves. Yay. Um, when it resolves, and it doesn't matter whether it resolves or doesn't resolve, whenever it's done, like it's it resolves or it was negated or whatever, then it goes to the discard pile and the uh, and the frozen cards go back. So timing. Yeah, yes. All right, and then my turn's my over. My wife is home. And I don't drink this special reserve drink. That I am not prepared to drink. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> flip it over. No, coward. No, my turn's over. No, the turn's oh. over. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's, that's what right. the glare effect is. Coward. Uh, so... you, you do have this though. Oh, so you have well, a bazillion oh. cards in your hand. Until the beginning of their next turn, right? So you hit, you hit, hit the person Jen to my that. left. Yeah. So okay. So now Jen's back in the game. Actually, everybody's back in the game, right? This isn't a turn end, and you stay out for a while. It's just your turn ends, and that's all. Uh, rules questions about content that is not publicly available needs to needs to be in the playtest server. <laughs> is somebody uh, is somebody asking that? Yes. Are allowed to discuss the rules regarding boss cards here. Um, no, that would just confuse the stream and wait a you know, week. Confuse the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just just hold your horses. No. Let's see. <laughs> well, before my discard and draw phase, of course I can hold my liquor. Be you. Oh. And uh, eh. and yeah, hey. <laughs> hey, what are we doing here? I don't know. Oh, right. I'm like, it's like, I looked over and I'm like, why do you still have a special reserve? Oh, right. Yes. All right. Well, Ohava, I finally found you a bottle, but Ooh, you owe you me. You get a special one too. 
One gold and a special. Um, yep. Yep. Gold. Fancy drink. Yep. So fancy. And then, and then thing. All right, I order somebody a drink. Who do I order a drink? Where's Wall I says, yeah. dang, I, mean, I had some rules questioned about Herman the Merman. So I guess I'll keep the <laughs> Yeah, you gotta. You yes, gotta there is no, there is no, <laughs> there is no character called Herman the Merman. I mean, there is now. Uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> in, now, now it's in the background of a card. Yeah. 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 yeah now it's it's in now Sam's it's, imagination. Yes. Uh, Her Herman the Merman is is the um I, the green guy that's hanging out with Tara in the background of Party with Murpho. Oh, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> ah, <laughs> people. <laughs> Oh, drinking, drinking contest. contest! Huzzah! Can I ignore an event? I forget. No, I cannot. No, hold on. I I currently cannot. I don't Let's remember do if this. I generally can. The winch actually can. The winch can. Event, I think. Well, but maybe not right now. I believe it's 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 not now. There's something going on over here. Finger yeah. up. I think she may or may not have her sword out. <laughs> Okay, I don't take the entire drink deck. Jeff's like, aw. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, the chasers say you do. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay, I'm going to do this. That's a terrible one for a drink event. You get some good old-fashioned wine. Good old-fashioned wine. You are currently in the lead. Oh, I congratulations. I win with a wine. Wow. I kind of would rather just not take the two, but uh, yeah. yeah. Who's doing stuff? Anybody doing stuff? No, I don't have uh, to do anything until you guys do something. That's coming out of my pay. Pay gold. Can't be negated that except resolves. for I don't think so. That resolves. Um, okay. I'm going to, yeah, I pass. And okay. Nothing. Okay. So gotta, I, gotta I look at the board this. real quick. I mean, if you pass and do nothing, then then I think it's time to get back at you for that three damage. That's probably true. So uh, here, this drink has a, some real bite. You have a drink I'm about to drink to another player. It gains Petrify 1. Um, yeah, I need to I need to stop playing with the drinks Aww. that. Chad. This flips. Chad. I take two. I take one and one, and I owe you a gold. Pay me a gold. Jen already paid me while we were doing all that. So there we go. And then it is my turn. Okay. Um... Uh, we're doing this and this, and I draw. Oh, I draw six because I still have three online. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now that's a wow, that's a hand. Okay, um, here's what's happening here. Yeah, what is happening? Some here? sort of anytime turn my turn my Alana on. That yeah. came out. That, that's a phrasing right there. Uh-huh. Phrasing. <laughs> so let's interrupt this with uh, a question from the chat. What do we think is the hardest character to play as? Cormaxicon. Torg? Oh, Torg's mm -hmm. good. Torg's a good vote, too. I'd put him third. He's, yeah, he's a tough choice. Uh, I think I would probably put Zakan in there because... You've uh, you got to have a feel for the the spirit of the game. You got to be in tune with how well people are going to punch you and how much you're about to drink. Yeah. The door. I should have closed the door to my office. Hopefully, you're not hearing like my my wife slamming the front door and, and we walking sure did. around and stuff. Yeah, it's fine. That's so. What that was? Okay, good. You all heard it, that. That's it great. is our life. My, my wife is very busy today and oh. running around doing all sorts of stuff. Bye, so, Sarah. Maybe I should turn on the lamp. That'll help. Okay, um, hey, Olivia, uh, respect nope, your elders. Ow, I hate it. And mm. Farnier goes away. Bye, Farnier. Farnier goes away for a little while. It was uh, nice to then, then Alana comes back uh. as I order more drinks. So you have a lot. You know what? All three of these are going to Jen. And uh, there's that. Uh, Grand Cleric has its advantages. Mm -hmm. On this back online, and I drank this here specialty thing, Electro Protection. If 
for alcohol and put it in front of you while it's there you may play it as a sometimes card with an ignore an action sometimes or any time that affects your fortimitude fortimitude um so i am going to well this isn't great but i'm gonna do it uh shalni's favor reduce the ac of a drink by one shalni is harmonious i can also draw a card Shalni is harmonious because she doesn't become unharmonious until after the card resolves Timing, you're learning all about Red Dragon in timing here today on the stream. Timing. So, timing. So that that does this does this resolve? Unfortunately. Okay. You know, so one of these reduces... days these wenches will draw their wench thinks. <laughs> so this to a three. I draw a card. Um okay. It was not a card that lets me ignore a drink, so that's very sad. Uh, this goes like that. Mm-hmm. And now I take three. And I keep this here thing for an ignorey ignore. All Go. right, congrats. Here, have another card. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this and this and keep that. Get rid of that. I'm, you know what? I'm discarding many cards because I need to pull things that ignore drinks right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's good. Hey, Slowfest crew, what's your favorite? A character that targets fortitude, alcohol, or gold? Um, well, I mean, it, do you want with my spike hat on or with my theme hat on, right? With my spike hat on, it's it's straight up alcohol content because it's the hardest thing to ignore. Um, with my, I want to have fun playing this game hat. I don't know, probably fortitude because it's fun to punch people. <laughs> Unless you're Sam, then it's gold. Yeah, Sam, Sam, <laughs> Sam's, is, Sam's is gold. Give me that gherky. Jen, what's your slash answer to that question? Org. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Wow. I'm kind of torn. Sam Dorgan. Uh, I can't decide what's the best way to make my enemies suffer. I don't know. <laughs> Lamentations of their, their uh, women. Yeah. How, how will I drive them before me? However I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow i drew some nice cards uh but we're gonna play this one the snake pit again each other yeah. player loses one fortitude and petrifies a card oh Hava, would you like to quaff your elixir of protection uh that stings but i respect nerodia's pride in her business yes i do not use my elixir um i I'm going to actually I'm gonna do Don't forget you have this in your hand. What's oh because you gave it back to me, right. Um I'm going I have to have it right back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna actually reduce the fortitude loss by one. Okay. But but then I still petrify a card. Oh, that is an expensive way to kind of ignore my card. <laughs> well, I, I don't much care about the card, honestly. True. What's what's our favorite Action sometimes or any time card. Sometimes. So card from a, oh, you mean category? Hmm. My my favorite. I mean, is, my favorite card is no. <laughs> oh. I am so happy that my my snort <laughs> reflex has been finely trained in a gauntlet of snarky mother mother kittens. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, back when I lived in a, a house with like six or seven other extremely funny nerds. I never snort drinks again. Do you prefer to, so we got all these questions, all these like vague and, and like, like I feel like there's Zen kinds of questions. Do you prefer <laughs> cheat in gambling rounds or try to play it straight? I mean, the answer is whatever works. Play it straight until <laughs> I have to cheat. Um, <laughs> Uh, play it straight unless unless my cheat cards let me do additional things. Um, the meaning of life. That's easy. Forty two. There you yeah. go. Uh, cheat, uh... It's not my fault. You came up with a bad question. <laughs> wow. Harsh. <laughs> the meaning of what is the meaning of life is a bad question. That's why the answer forty two doesn't make any sense. Get get your get your Douglas Douglas. Your Douglas on. Adams on. What's yeah. the meaning of death? Uh, what? Ironically, <laughs> tax forms. That's the meaning of death. All Order right. drinks, petrifying cards. You can have two. Okay. 
They'll 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 land eventually. Yeah. You can have one. You both petrify a card. <laughs> There you and go. And shuffle. And then plop. Oh. Plop. How many is this now? Five? Okay. I'm, I'm back up to five. Five is a good number. Okay. Because uh, most of the cards top out at four, which means I'm guaranteed you still have four after decay. Uh, yeah, speaking of, of bad things happening to me. Speaking of decay. Oh, energy brew with a chaser. Discard three cards from my hand and then draw three. But I just drew a good hand. That's uh, that's tough. Oh, isn't it? oh wow. man! Maybe what? I'll draw another new hand. Good hand. Oh man! Derp. Um, all right. Well, I don't do anything about this. Yeah, I don't do anything about this. This is fine. These happen in. I'm pretty sure this is discard three and then draw five. Correct is how this works. Because like order. effects, the the draw. Yeah. Combines. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, this is a fun game about drinks and fantasy adventurers. Um, yes, what was that? <laughs> we, we don't need to hem and haw over the hairs. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, is anything bad happening to this drink? Is, is it when she's playing with it? Is, nah. is, nah. is Alana coming by and messing with it? No. Nah. Oh, it's Shalni that messes with drinks, not Alana. Okay. Um, I'm going to suddenly discard this card. And and this card and this card. And unfortunately, they're all cards with artwork. But on the plus side, all of the cards in my hand had artwork. Oh, that one didn't. Well, I mean, show them. <laughs> show well, them at Oh, least. yeah. I mean, they were looking at it. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's good. And turn again <laughs> to the scary. thing. If you, uh, if you keep making that face, it's going to freeze that way because I'm freezing you. Yeah. Nope. Dad All right. joke. Snark. Um, oh, I should also gain that to alcohol content. And then I draw a whole new hand, basically. Five new cards. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. wait that this one this yeah. one goes over here. And this one goes there. Yeah. Yep. Thank. Wow. <laughs> Energy brew. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Who's the fifth hand on I raise beyond the first four? Um, good question. We uh, we let's say we have a plan for that, and we will someday <laughs> reveal it to you to blow your collective minds. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I just looked at the at the at the one in a villain deck. It is the four villains from RDI six. Uh oh, guys, what it is I... yes that one that one's easy. That one. You know, <laughs> <clears throat> yes question oh no i was i i perceived a problem but i was wrong yes it's living over here Olave hasn't spent it yet yep wow well, you're fucking sharp sir i mean get the, uh... <laughs> we got well, there this time i swore because of a positive thing yeah yeah uh, that's true sometimes and you can use the power of curse words for good y'all <laughs> <laughs> look jen's still moving like when she when she moves her lips, she can, you know, she, she talks. The sound like correlates somewhat with the, the thing she's doing. When I when I make a dumb face, you get to see it. And then <laughs> and then I stop making the dumb face. Like see, now everybody everybody now everybody knows that Jen's actually, you know, kind of funny. She she's normally like, you know, saying funny things while being like <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um uh, if you talk to any of my roommates. They'll be like, yeah, it was always kind of interesting living with Jen. You knew when she was amused on her computer because you could hear her laugh and it would be different laughs each time. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man, I have I have an insane churn if if the stars can align. Well, look at all these people. We got lots of people in chat today. Yo, they're, they're really um, excited about this new character. That, new character. The which, capstone uh, stretch goal. We are uh, we are getting we're getting close to the uh, final stretch goal. Oh, I'm disappointing Demystic with my face. <laughs> Jen not frozen unsubscribe. Nice. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Nice nice knowing you, Demystic. Sorry. Uh, we do have a question. Curious question. Let's see. Sorry. 
and possible ideas for goals after Neuronia. Was that just pondering products? So we are not planning on, ha on having uh, stretch goals after Neurodia. Um The uh, Kickstarter, especially the game section of Kickstarter, is a um, is is rife with stories of uh, the Kickstarter that went badly because the um, folks uh, added unplanned and and ill conceived stretch goals at the end. Uh, so yeah, we're not we're not planning on adding more. However, the survey for those of you who are in the campaign, um, the survey was about add-ons, and some of those some of those things that we asked about. Um, will be available as add-ons after the campaign in the post-campaign pledge manager of Backerkit. If you don't know what Backerkit is, uh, it is a, well, it's a post-campaign pledge manager. So basically what happens is after you pledge <clears throat> for the Kickstarter campaign, all of your information, including what you pledged and what you, you know, what you paid, um, transfers over to this other site, Backerkit. Uh, you are then you log into Backerkit to give us things like your, you know, address and things like that. But you also are dropped into this kind of web store sort of interface where if you want, you can add stuff to your order. Now, your order will already have a copy of whatever it is you're pledged for. And your, your order will also already have a credit of whatever you paid for in, in, uh, in the Kickstarter. So... Uh, depending on where you live, it will then add uh, the shipping charges for it. Remember that shipping is not included in this one. Uh, uh, depending on where you live, it will cost a little extra for shipping. And then if you want, you can add whatever extra things you want to the order, uh, like like other other Red Dragon in games and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, that's how that all works. There's your there's your basic introduction to. Uh, backer kit and post campaign pledge management. So that's, Ooh. yeah, that's what the survey is about. And um, the, the point of the survey was to figure out which things we're going to make and include in that post campaign um, web store thingy. So, so stay tuned for more information on that. Thank you. Jen, it is your turn, I think. Oh, holy crap. Agreed. Here we go. It's happening. <clears throat> So Dimera, um, it's kind of sad because Dimera says it's kind of sad because if the add-ons could be added before it finishes, the gold could be made much quicker. Uh, it could be made quicker because I'm sure a lot of people would order metal coins or extra coins. Now, so a couple things on that. Number one is you can still over pledge. Um, now, if you over pledged and then we decided that it didn't make financial sense for us to do the thing you want, then yeah, that would be bad and people would be angry. So yes, we, we do plan to announce which add-ons will be available before the end of the campaign. Whether you add on money in Kickstarter to eventually pay for that in backer kit or whether you just pay for it in backer kit uh, doesn't, doesn't much matter. Um, if you're worried about whether we'll make the Nerodia stretch goal, I mean, I suppose you could back for more now, but I mean, we still got two weeks left in this campaign. So there's not really any need. Um, like I said, we do plan on announcing what add-ons will be available before the end of the campaign, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, you know, but we're not doing so just yet. Yep. Anyway, sorry, mm -hmm. go on. Go Chat on also asks actual playing if actual each game. individual coil of Nerodia's head is individually named. And, <laughs> and I'm certain that she has. I mean, in, in Sam's head, of course. <laughs> Uh, hey, Nerodia. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. This one's on the house. Oh, well, um, mm, burning pain. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> they're, all, they're all named Snake. Yes. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Walleye. The wench, it's like I've got eyes on the back of my head. I'll ignore oh. that card. And you petrify a card. All right. I may not use this card to avoid a game. Mwahaha. Six cards petrified. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm going to uh, have a good churn. How many coils? Uh, how many coils does she have? I believe it's five. No, it's, I believe it's six on each side. And I actually remember uh, now that I, now that I look, um, 
when Deborah, the new artist, uh, first started drawing her, I believe she did five on each side, and it and it actually looked a little funny to me. So, so I said, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be six on each side. It's like, <clears throat> but there are more. There are probably more in the back of the head that we don't actually see. Yes, usually <laughs> see twelve heads, but water. But I mean, water. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like the in in the overlay, you can only see ten of the heads. In which overlay? This the thing? the overlay on the stream. <laughs> oh, is that? Um, oh, two of the heads oh, are yeah, in, the, right. in the mug, though. <laughs> right, right, right. Because no, that one that one's hard because you know they're almost all on one side, and there's only so many you know snakes oh, man. fit Have, in a small area. This just reminds me of uh, one of my favorite games that I can play with fan art or art in general whenever there's more than one character in the art. And it's called Count the Hands. <laughs> <laughs> is this a... Wait. Is this game, was this game inspired by The Last Supper? <clears throat> uh, no, but did... Hold on, Jeff. Is there, is there a mistake in The Last Supper? Oh, isn't that, that... Oh, you are doing a thing. That, okay. that, how about some Vino di Venom instead of that water? Lose two fortitude and petrify two cards. Added or Dang. replacing the drink effect. Oh well, all right then. In that case, I'll ignore this drink. Oh, that's, and, that's uh, fair. And you get a special reserve. Yay! I got the card anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay, turn so over. That's, that's, uh, that's bad. Um, I draw off to a regular old seven card hand size. Um, I look here. Is that oh that's that's helpful um that's helpful uh hey olivia that holy water must have gone bad pick another player they lose one fortitude and gain one alcohol <gasps> gasp da, 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 da. one of each i hate it thanks okay you're welcome <laughs> spoiled holy water woo um shali is now you. online and then I order a one of the drinks. Here is a one of the drinks. And then here is a special reservey drink. <gasps> Cask aged whiskey with a chaser of mm -hmm. Elven, Elven wine, wine with, with a chaser, chaser of fairy, fairy ale, ale with, with a chaser, chaser of, of holy water. water. That's well mostly nice. It's just it's just effectively an Elven wine. It's just a little, it's just a little holy. It's still good. It's still good. Um, uh, who's got two thumbs and nothing to ignore a drink? Oh, all right then. Cool. You, probably. That one? Is it this that guy. one? Okay, so I take five booze a hall mm -hmm. and heal two and discard a card. Um, I'm going to discard this here anti-cheat card that I don't really need. And then this all goes away and I survived my turn, but um, it was rough. <clears throat> oh, I'm Go ahead, Nerodia. such bad decisions. <laughs> Give me my card back. Such bad decisions. Um, yeah, you Let's have this card see. back. Yep. And then I'm just going to draw two and hope. Well, each of the pubs have a signature drink. Well, I mean, they each have I, they each have multiple things that could be called a signature drink, really. Actually, um, they each have at least one or two things that you only find in there that, little... that you've never seen before. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Mine now. Mine now. I'm taking two of your gold, Olivia. Okay. Two gold at any oh. time speed, but with. Don't give you harvest cards. I can't use those. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I draw three. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm glad I did that because I, I whiffed on my action. Welcome, dead Aussie gamer. Uh, hey there. Four, one. See. You can have Let's a drink. Back. Got people talking about their head cannon. <laughs> Greater holy water with a chaser of another. I get to. Double special reserve. Wait, did you whiff on actions? I whiffed yep. on actions. Wow. Elixir of telepathy. Put this card in front of me, and I can peek at a hand. Ooh. Oh, we got lots of hands. 
Uh, yeah. Lots of hand. Um, three, four, five. I mean, I guess I just drink this. This is fine. This is fine. greater holy water with a chaser is good. Yeah, overall, yeah, this it's, is good. Uh, I like this. Good for you. This is fine. Um, I gain three. Fourteen plus three is seventeen, and I gain two. Four plus six is two, and then I'll just keep this in front of me for later. Whoa. It's an elixir. Uh, Hashtag nerf Sam. Yep. Hashtag yep. nerf Sam. <laughs> yep, I think that's Sam's turn oh. over. Yes, it is Sam's turn over. No. Oh, bye. Hmm. I think Nerodia is 16 ish feet long. <laughs> yeah, she's I... she's very variably tall because yeah. like I think there's probably a range of comfortable rising up above the floor. Yeah. I think like like normally she's probably what five five, just like average height head. Yeah, sure. But but then there's, you know, the rest of her. <laughs> How tall is Nerdy exactly? Like, I don't know, did are you going to not buy the game if we don't uh, exactly define that somewhere? Uh, she would know. count as a large <laughs> creature on on a battle map. She <laughs> 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 got Let's let's I just say charged, when she's though. dusting whichever she, she wants to dust the stalagmites, stalactites, stalactites. Jeez, <laughs> she doesn't need a ladder. <laughs> mm. All that right, was... so then let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get right on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that kind of quick <laughs> Oh, uh, who's this? You. Me. It's I, you. I deserve it. You do. Um, yeah, yeah, that happens. My body. Okay. Owls. Your body. It, it sucks your, your for you. Large, hurts. hollow, prehensile body. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, uh, yep, then something special for my friends. I believe there's a Naga in the Battle for Great Court. You're, Yeah. Right. Um, in fact, I and... distinctly remember there being a Naga. It does not have coily snake hair. I mean, Nagas and Gorgons is different. That's just the way that is. <laughs> we Duh. planned it that way, clearly. <laughs> um, excuse me. I believe there is a clear difference. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Actually. There you go, guys. See, Jen. See, Jen's really funny when she's not frozen. Ugh, pixie punch. Ooh, pixie punch. That means it's a party. Uh. And everyone's invited. Yep. Yeah. All right then. One, two, three. Dang. Okay, I have a hand size of eight, and I currently have eight cards. Um, some of them are pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, but I do not need this card. I do not need this card. I do not need, hmm. I do not want this card. Um, I would like to, uh, let's see. Yeah, I can get rid of this too. Chat asks if Nerodia is the only worker at the Black Dragon. Uh, uh, yeah. Pay Soon attention. Be... <laughs> um, don't that, that, that there's uh there's some fiction on our website that's really cool. Oh wait, it's not there yet, but it's gonna be. Um, spoilers. Sorry, guys. Jen. Ooh, Lord. What? I'm sorry. No, yeah, no, no, we're we're good. My um, my yes, brain is like time. The future we, is now. The, the future is happening. The past is also the future. <laughs> like if we if we if we hit the stretch goal, the past was someone's yeah. future. We, right. We uh, we're, if we hit the stretch goal, we'll get you know. There's a there's there'll be a story. There'll be all sorts of lore. We got two weeks to hit the stretch goal. Keep your pants on, people. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so cool. But uh, pants on, people. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, Nerdia probably has some friends who help her out. 
And apparently, <laughs> chat also wants the entirety of, <laughs> of Phil Startusk's working staff to also be characters, including the barista and and the pixie in charge of the pixie boss. Startusk's pixie, pixie has pink hair and that doesn't match any of the seasonal hair from Kaylin's story. That's true, actually. So, uh, some some sort of dye, probably. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. that is a that is a fair point. She does glamour. work for an alchemist. If I uh, if I had glamour. <laughs> I'd glamour my hair. Mm. I'd same. glamour in the morning. I'd glamour in the morning, and I'd glamour, glamour in the, morning. the evening. All over this land. All over this <laughs> land. It's like it's actually where I thought you were going when you started that. But, uh... Uh, it's it wasn't, but it is now. <laughs> oh. I'd, I'd glamour out danger. Um, uh... <laughs> yuck! 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 These, uh, these these streams are just getting dumber and dumber. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. Uh, we are getting uh, dumber. Kane asks if the if the if you uh, tip the wench in Nerodia's deck features a different character. Uh, no, it's been replaced with mine now, which is a which is one of her glare cards for stealing lots of gold from a player. Yep. Oh, hey, hey look, it's the it's one Age I drew. Uh, this is this is original art by Sam Waller right here. Uh, um, this is why I don't draw anymore. No, it's <laughs> it's still. I mean, it looks like it looks kind of like the Dwarven Firewall. I mean, yeah. some of that early early stuff is you know, it's not. Uh, it's a little bit rough, and this is along those lines. I think it's. Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, Perfectly anyway, um, art. Effects that would ignore this drink instead reduce its AC by two. Um, let's see if I can do either of those things. Um, da, 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 da. I will attempt to ignore, but in fact, reduce it by two. Oh, well, you ordered it, you drink it. Negate it sometimes is. card that changes the effects of a drink. Wait, uh, shh, shh, shh. that doesn't work. I play the other one. Stop playing with the drinks. I mean, doesn't that other card work? Oh, it does, does because it... this is exactly this card. Never mind. Yeah, they both work. <laughs> they both work. Yeah. Um, In fact, I... the reminder text includes a reminder oh, that Oh, Lord. Ignores. See, now now I know you have them both. That's gross. My bad. That's, I'm just going to I'm just gonna say that's gross right now because I'm going to I don't think so this. Uh, uh, but then you're going to let that resolve yep. probably. Yep. Yep. Da, 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 da. Now, and hey, look, it's the other playing thing. with the drinks. Stop playing. Nerodia's got way. to stop playing with the drinks. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. She's totally broken. Oh, my God. How could you print that slugfest? What's wrong with you? Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm going to tell Board Game Geek not to buy your product because <laughs> you made it broken. <laughs> At some point, Sam's going to hit the stop button and put up the technical difficulties. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, oh, uh, um, I do still have that queued up. We could listen to the delightful music. The Jing Jang. <laughs> um, Sam, go. Uh, uh, nope, wrong, false, incorrect. Drink up before it goes flat. <laughs> what? Uh, yes. On me, yes. like me, the person who... Uh, the, the person... Yes. who um, gives you blessings from the gods. I'm going to crush like, you so that this finally is the battle that it was always meant to be. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I approve. Oh, oh, Lordy. I wish I could make it worse. Right. Incorrect. It's Incorrect. worse. Incorrect. Incorrect. Add an alcohol content to the drink. All right. You know what? You know what? What? You two have fun. Oh, I was going to try and take her gold. Mic away. drop. <laughs> Mic drop. You each get two gold, two. and and I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Seems good. I, I guess I'll look at at Jen's hand since Jen's the only character still here. Oh, are you going to do oh, it wait, right no, now? No, no. I'm going to wait until I give you this back, and then I'll look yeah. at your hand. Okay. <laughs> Incorrect. And uh, and since Ooh. Jeff's not playing anymore, I can do this the lazy way. Yeah, that seems good. Clap. Um, oh, Lord, a toast. And your toast <laughs> is the good toast. <laughs> um, <laughs> and ignore an event. And and just, oh, man, you've got the best card for every category. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, okay. Strunk. Wedge strunk. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep these. Notice how Sam looked at my hand before his discard and draw phase like a smart person. Mm -hmm. I was a smarty. Whereas I would have done fucked up and looked just at the beginning of my action phase like uh -oh. a dumb person this is hilarious i threaded the needle in your hand <laughs> <sighs> pay me a gold and then petrify two cards <laughs> all right uh let's see here you get their secret cards i don't know what they are <laughs> Staring contest to your funeral. There you go. Huh? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. all arted. Yeah. I've got, shiny. I've got so many trophies. First place Love medals. It. Love it. Uh, I'm going to order you this drink. We should also discard the rest of Ohava's drinks. They were not going to be kind. Um. Oof, yeah, no, Ohava had a rough rough lineup ahead of her Speaking i had a of rough, rough couple of uh, drinks Elixir wait i had fire more rough drinks coming. nice um this is fine for certain definitions of you know what i'm about to shuffle so we're going to get my hair relaxed this is a perfect hair relaxer ignore a drink <laughs> she's giving the drink to the snakes it's funny <laughs> <laughs> i love it it's allowed <sighs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Toot. 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 Well, we got today we got my my wife running around doing things in uh, Jen's trains. Actually, I haven't Jen, what there's It been hasn't been that bad lately. I Yeah, there've been fewer trains like in our meetings and stuff. Is that yeah, is there's, like less stuff running? I maybe, but there's been for a couple times in the evening this week, we've had some train operator who's just like, I'm going to lean on it. Toot! <laughs> giving it all the toot they can. Uh, around 8 p.m., we get dueling trains, because I guess oh. one train is leaving when another arrives, so they just toot at each other. Wow. Uh, I mean, it's kind of cute that it's conversational, but but what if I'm on a on a stream. <laughs> so, so Jen, so so Sam Sam lives relatively close-ish to some tracks, but uh, Jen's like you know practically right on top of them. Yeah, I'm I'm on the same block essentially. Uh, I've been having Very... much fun. I don't know where we are in sequence. <laughs> oh, it's your turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Okay, good. I shouldn't assume that whenever I've lost track, it's my turn. Yeah. That, that leads to suffering. Yes. Uh, we need names for each of the snakes under Rhodey's hair. Is there any particular flavor theme to the glare effects and why they de-petrify to become stronger? Or is it mostly just mechanical? I know that changed, but I had the same question before, too. Um, basically, the, I mean, yeah, the short answer is it's mostly mechanical. The longer answer is everything we tried... Every everything we tried that made petrification like really bad or really permanent or anything like that was just terrible. Like just like super unfun to play. So so we decided we wanted something that just kind of undid it. Yeah. Is um I will for say instance, if like you're in the... one of the early pitches for this character was like an alternate win condition where she's dealing some strange sort of damage, then now you're stone and, and you're eliminated. And it's like, that was not appropriate for Red Dragon Inn. That was, it basically was poison counters in, in Red Dragon Inn. And we, so those of you who are in playtest, you know, um, know that Nerodia went through a lot of iterations. And in fact, there were, there were one or two iterations that you folks never saw. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. Where we ended up is is pretty fun, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it does mean, you know, yeah, she's she's turning you to stone, but also unturning you to stone because just turning you to stone is not, you know, fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna skip my action, go straight to my order. Ah, uh, both wenches the... have whiffed on actions. Whiff. So just whiff. Have a name. Not yet. 
Uh, would it be good as part of her boss battle mechanics or bad as it shouldn't have been made? What Toa, I have no idea what you're talking about there. Please clarify. <laughs> uh, poison counters. I was just going to say poison counters, Jeff. Yes. Uh, so, so yeah. <clears throat> One, one AC, that's it. One go. AC, boring, turn over. Man. Turn over. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this and this. I'm going to draw exactly enough cards to leave one in the pile. Sam, okay. this, this hurts Sam deep in his soul. What, what? happens? No, that... that was intentional. Oh, is that what you wanted so that you could put more things into your discard pile? Okay. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm buying time to get my gas back into the discard pile. Um, gambling, I'm in. That's how hard I'm buying the time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nuri is actually a really good gambler if if yeah. she has a, a stockpile of uh, petrified cards. Oh wait, you know what? <laughs> actually, someone's playing with the drinks. Aww. Instead of anteing, I leave. Well, I guess I guess that's fair. Enjoy your game of solitaire. I... Mega Tank, what, uh, what's happening next week? Can we see some new promo cards in action? Uh, well, okay, no, cool. but don't worry, because uh, next week's going to be fun, and and you know, everybody just you know keep keep your pants on for a second. We'll talk about stuff soon. <laughs> Pay to reshuffle the drink deck. Yeah. Hork. Uh, it's getting there. Go oh, get get in the. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got there. We did it. Uh oh. Oh. That's not good. Uh oh. That's not good. Also a hair relaxant. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. I can't. Yay. No. No. I know. Didn't even count up the numbers. I just knew that they were big enough that I didn't just want to drink. I knew that. that it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. More than she wants. Mm -hmm. Turn is yes, over. my turn oh, is I over. Gotta... Oh, I think, okay, so I think I understand your question now, Toa 47. So you're asking, would would stronger petrification have been okay as a, as a boss battle mechanic? Well, uh, maybe, but we don't really want, um, we don't really want mechanics that are just in someone's boss deck. We, we generally want the boss deck to be a, you know, better version of the thing that they already do. So, yes. so yeah, it is. In fact, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll see sometime in the near future when we show you boss battle. Blink, um, blink, blinkity, blink, blink, blink. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> well, you'll, you'll see that, you know, yeah, the, the boss battle cards do the same thing, but a little bit, you know, a little bit more and a little bit to the point where, you start to feel it a little, you know, you yeah. start to be like, ow, what, ow, petrification, ow. The best part about team fights is that your teammates got hands of cards to help you. Oh, wait. <laughs> Except <laughs> when they don't. Except when they don't, just like in real life. Uh, <sighs> so, uh, Nerodia, trust me, after one sip, you'll want the whole but, bottle. But that card doesn't interact with this card. That's tough. It interacts with this one, though. I'll ignore it, and you will petrify a card. I don't think so. No. All right, so. fine. Yay. Okay. Come on. Get get in the thing, and I petrify. Petrify the one card. You know what? They're just going to keep coming to me in this orientation, and it doesn't matter. That's sure. correct. Da -da. All right, so there's that. Ospato, Ospato. Nice. <laughs> Chat asks, game wants Auto as a boss. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how that would work, but you shuffle up someday? all the decks, and and he always has a response. Right. Or does Dark he? Ale. Okay. I wish I could make that worse, but I can't, so I don't. <laughs> uh, these are fine. I'll keep all three. Draw this and flip that and reshuffle it and draw three more. Oh, and also give you this back. All right. Get in my hand card. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Gambling. Nerodia's in. Hey, why? I don't understand your goals here. 
winning hand. Congratulations. I love it. <laughs> I'm just confusing Jeff. Oh, I think, okay, I sort of Ooh. know what you're trying to do there, I guess. Sobering. <laughs> Not sobering. <laughs> it's it's water the hard way. I pass. Are they played okay. with? Nope. All right. Okay. Nerodia. <laughs> See, Nerodia is getting all the good drinks again, and now everybody's going to go on Board Game Geek and say, Nerodia's totally broken. She always <laughs> wins that one time. <sighs> I don't think I don't think uh, Otto. I mean, I'm would getting be a, really great drinks too. Yeah, I, I don't think Otto would be a Gundam. I think he'd be more of a big O. So, so we're Jen and I are having one conversation, and Sam's chatting with the chat, and so that's why, for those of you on YouTube, you are totally confused right now. It's confusing. It is. It's great. Oh, all right, let's see here. The first season of Big O is a classic. The second season of Big O was like what? But, but why? But why? <laughs> why you do this? I I wanted Bruce Wayne, but when he's Batman, he has a giant robot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a toast to the Red Dragon Inn! Yay! Oh no, this is gonna be great. So each player, including me, reveals a drink from the drink deck and drinks it. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What we got here? Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. That's you started the game with that. You didn't want last time. Oh, wait, no, you didn't start the game with that. I get. Why did you go there? Ooh, we both get Ogre Brew. Harsh. The secret recipe of, Except... for Ogre Brew is Rock Gut plus. Oh, wait, no, never mind. No, Jen's is reduced anyway. Yeah. Well, also, I'll go get another. This tankard's filthy. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't think so. Neener, neener. No, yeah, all right. Uh, I can't do this right now, but I'll be back with something good. Ah, curses. And now I get one of those. Yes! Yes, next level play! Uh, yes! I, I get nothing. So I get two of those, and then I'll move this temporarily out of the way. Yep. Wait. Yeah, that was my action. Doink! Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Alright, what we got here? Oh no! Yay! I don't like seeing you draw cards. That's not good. That's tough. I'm gonna get rid of these cards. I'm gonna hold Sounds on to these. I'm gonna give you this back. Uh huh. Draw Doink. these. Oh, he's out of he's out of ammo. Uh, <clears throat> wow, these cards are so good for completely different things. <laughs> they say I have a stony glare. Speaking of the player, they lose one fortitude. Just one. Snake jokes. Snake jokes. Snake jokes. You gotta have quick reflexes to deal with adventurers all day. Patang. More special reserves. Yes. That's not good. That's not good. Uh oh. It chased. Uh oh. It chased into a drink that's event. A... Yay! Oh, that's an event. Oh man. Best of best results. Oh man. Is it worse? Huh? Do you make it worse before I consume it? Sorry, you're you're putting it on my my oh, Discord uh, pile so... and, and then I get kinda dumb. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, um see. Chaser revealed a drink event, so the drink event is ignored and and discarded. Ah, okay. So I just have the Going. imported rum with a chaser. Unless you're gonna do something fancy to it. Eh. Yay, it's these it's things consumed. happen sometimes. I'm it's not fine. dead yet. Oh, she's fangful for it. <laughs> I'm fangful. fangful for it, yes. Fangful for it. <laughs> yeah. Jeff is oh. kind of, it's kind of, kind of fun. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, yeah. Jeff and Sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of always the peanut gallery, even when I'm playing, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Goodness, then that's your turn over, so it's my turn to begin. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. We ever get to have an RDI cookbook? I don't know. Uh, will, will any do you know other someone who writes cookbooks? Right. Do you, do, do you <laughs> know the license the Red Dragon? <laughs> uh, will any other Battle for Greyhorn villains come to Nerodia's or the vampire from the Fry story? Sure. 
all all <laughs> things all things that any any fan ever wants will happen in red dragon no we're not going to promise that at some point oh eventually God. maybe okay yeah, it's that would get it's something tricky. interesting to to have in the back pocket for the future but rdi drink book i mean that's that's something we've actually thought about we don't really have the um skill for that but yeah that's something we've maybe thought about yeah lose pick another player lose a forward discard the a... pop card of your drink me pile and then get a special reserve drink <laughs> okay insane clown 148 what happens to the roadie if the 180 uh, 185 or whatever the 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 goal the the stretch goal isn't met. As we said in a previous stream, we are going to print a copy of the deck and burn it card by card in front of you to make you all feel bad. We're, Turn about as fair snakes. We're, we're not going to waste the, the character, yeah. guys. And uh, we're not going to burn something on stream because that's, frankly, this is my office. You're going to have to pay me a lot to get me to burn to, shit in my burn own something. office. burn <laughs> something? So, and here's the other thing, like... <sighs> Giving a definitive answer to to what happens, what doesn't happen, what if, what if, what if, giving a definitive answer to any of those questions undermines the whole point of having stretch goals. So mm -hmm. just, you know, kind of bear with us on that, right? It's don't don't worry. We're, <clears throat> one, we're gonna make it. Two, trust us. We're not we're not going to yeet it out of every existence, etc. Uh, Pookie missed me. That's my old skin. The player who played that card petrifies a card. Oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Come on, I don't think so. And I double ignore it. The player who <laughs> played that card yes. petrifies a card. Yes, you can do that. It's it's uh it's a little silly, but yes, that is a legal play. Sam, that's some of the cheapest shit you've ever I done. I triple ignore it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What's, oh, because that's the right, 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 right. That's the fortitude one, and that's the uh, anything one. Yes. I enter Yu Gi Oh state. You've triggered my trap card. Oh. Did those all go on the bottom of the pile? Because that's oh, actually relevant yeah. in this case. So we just reverse the order, and it's fine. Mm hmm. Okay. Lol. I wow. hope. All right. Yeah, you know. So here's what's going to happen. On the one hand, he just petrified some good cards. On the other hand, he just used three ignores when I he did. Could. I'm also, all in now. Also, I needed to order you a drink, so yes. there's that. Is that my turn over? Uh, yes. Well, this is your turn drinking. So. Yeah, it was hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and then order and now drink. Yes. Okay. We'll see what happens here. How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Okay, we still the got us a game here. Deck. Choose Dang it. it. We still got us a game here. It's not up to us. Uh, here, have your have your card back. Okay. Have your least good card back. Oh man. Jeff doesn't know how right he is. Oh, oh, why was <laughs> this card in my hand? They they were petrified in that order, so, you know. The one where you're like, eh, I don't care if I lose this card. All right, the one you we're, we're going to swing for the fences. Don't touch the hair. I glare too and hope it hits. That does it. Yes! No! I, was, I was hoping to let you die on a drink. <gasps> oh, Oh man. Okay. Well, now we gotta. Now we gotta. Card that hunt. I didn't give up. What? Yeah. What did we have here? Yeah, now I we, wasn't. Now we got a rabbit hunt. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Wouldn't he still? I he barely am alive. alive. Oh, yeah, that was a close one. Oh. Well, not for me. <laughs> that was a game. Look, Jen's still moving. Hey. Yeah. Jen's still yeah. like actually a participant in this actual stream. Ollie yeah. asks if I can respond to the same game event with multiple instances of ignore. Can I do so for avoiding a round of gambling? Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, basically, if a if a sometimes trigger happens and you have multiple uh, cards that can respond to it, yep, you can. So you got both of your hitbacks in your hand, and I punch you. Great, punch me back twice. Um, now, most of the time, what Sam did, uh, by is, the way, that really... was very, 
that, that was a really all in kind of a uh, kind of slightly dubious play, although it did give him the glare he needed for the thing he just won with. But if it didn't work, he was screwed. I was up the creek. <laughs> I was so I was like, okay, she's played both of her negates. So I just need to get an action through for lethal and I'll be okay. <laughs> I hope. And low. He was correct. Yeah, it's uh, it's just one of those ironic things in a game with petrification. I get to move around. Jen, Jen, <laughs> so Jen, finally, so so wow, basically, I, I've been I, I've been kind of you know, basically over the past like month or so, I've been kind of like, um, uh, I've been kind of like like uh, putting my thumb on Jen and saying like, come on, we got to figure out how to fix this. This is come on, this is like. This is weird. What is going on? Ah, yeah, well, Jeff's mostly been like, Jen, your computer's bad. Jen, your computer's bad. My computer's not bad. I just, this is a new computer ish. Uh, I, I abandoned the your computer's bad fairly early on, but that was one of my first. Oh, well, yeah, your computer's bad. Then it's your then, connection is bad. Right, it's right. Like, then it's your connection's bad. It's like, I've, I've got fiber. I've yeah, got, apparently, I've got more upload speed than you both combined. <laughs> Apparently, it's your Zoom settings are bad. Uh, I so I, I think what was happening is uh, Zoom, by default, uses your GPU for accelerating video in processing, video out processing, and then some third video processing thing that I don't remember. Well, so, Tabletop Simulator is a is a graphics card hog. And then there's Tabletop Simulator, which just cornholes my GPU every time. <laughs> uh, so I was like, well, these two are, programs are probably just slap fighting over my video cards, so Zoom doesn't have to do that. Right. And uh, I was right. Yay! Yeah, it's the trains. Bad Wall Horse uh, Game, and you're correct. It's blame the, train. the trains. It's always the trains. <laughs> when the, the Neurodia stretch goal, uh, Kenan, Kenan 817, when the Neurodia stretch goal, by the way, thank you for saying when, when yeah. the Neurodia stretch goal is reached, <laughs> will, she be, will she be added to the public RDI mod? Yes. Uh, secret stretch goal at 200k, Jen, but she doesn't freeze. Yeah, so if I thought we could <laughs> promise that, uh, you know, may, maybe she'll be back to, ba to, to we don't know what's going on next week. So if I thought we could promise that, sure, that could be a stretch goal. I mean, we could promise that and then be like every other kickstarter campaign that has uh, promises stretch goals that are untenable um no we're not gonna do that uh yeah a question would hair snakes be considered her pets sure uh, <laughs> i mean she seems to be affectionate with them which yeah. you know if i'm gonna have a snake attached to my body i want to be on good terms <laughs> I want to be. Uh, you know what? Snake. If I'm gonna have a snake attached to my body, I think I'm just gonna go to a doctor. In this Cthulian <laughs> horror universe, where I'm being and mixed right. with another animal, I and might as well be friends with that animal. Snaked. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be on bad terms with my hair snake, <laughs> especially if it's venomous. Like, no, mm -mm, no. Ow. Bad hair day. You have to Worst. put your hair in little cones. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Oh, that's funny. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we really doing this? Are we? Is uh, this what we come to? Why do you people? Why do you people watch this? this? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why are you here? What? Are you not entertained? <laughs> right. <Are> we... <laughs> I'm not even drinking this stream, guys. So we, we're like this we naturally. Uh, derp, derp, derp. That's okay, right. Sam. Let's. let's yeah segue into the part of the stream where you show as much card art as you think we haven't ah, seen. Ah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> da, 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 da. I mean, we I actually shuffled the deck, so... Oh, well, we've probably seen everything. Let's see. Yoink. Yoink. <sighs> and it's well, really I'm easy to that, tell. Uh, gosh. I, I, her, her I don't think so is so cute. <laughs> Why are we here? Just to suffer. Just to suffer. Just to suffer and drink. <laughs> so waiting. So waiting for the comedy show. If this, uh, if this is the comedy show that you came up with, yes, this is the best we got. So you know, um, if you're if you're dorked out by us now, then you know this is, this is as good as it gets. <clears throat> so yes, oh, look, art camera. There's a, there's a fair bit of art, and uh, for those of you. Um, 
Is this in the is in is this in the playtest mod right now, Sam? Um, I believe so. Okay, so this I this is the file. I just updated this file right before the stream, basically. So um, I'll, I'll double check it. Oh, Jen so Jen got it from the playtest mod. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and if, and like I said, if if the if the stretch goal unlocks, then she'll be added to the uh, public. Everybody can go and try it mod. So. So yes, when she unlocks, thank you for using when again. Uh, then it, it's uh, you can you can go in and try this all yourself, and you can see you can uh, you know uh, end the game at three health and be like, see, Neurody's totally broken. Oh my god! I'm gonna <laughs> express my indignation to the uh, internet. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I like seeing these sketches. Which did we? Which did we not see today? Um, I didn't get a chance to play the cheaty ones because yeah. they came up when I didn't draw uh, gambling I'm in to start the rounds of gambling. So right. I guess you fold. We did <laughs> not get to see. Oh, oh that, yes. that one. That one's going to so, turn out good. You, you, yeah, can, you can almost see the, the fleck. Right. You can barely see the fleck. That's a, that's a petrified fleck in the same pose from one of his own cards. And you're already saying, ah, so you're folding then? Ha. Yeah. Oh, where's Walleye coming out with the good jokes here? It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of wench. It's a matter of wench. Yes. Love it. Uh, you could say I've got a good head for games. Cheating and also taking gold and also making someone else anti. Yep. Mm -hmm. No need to get all rattled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them petrification <laughs> tokens during a round of gambling. Because she's a snake. Specifically, a rattlesnake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> waka waka waka. <laughs> uh, I have a stony glare. I don't think so. Staring contest. We we saw most of the actions actually. I think we saw all of those. Yeah. yeah. So so I think we're we're this... doing good. I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm looking forward to having this character in my hands. I'm happy about this one. it. This one's this one's hilarious. Oh Just yeah, like, giant crown torg, like uh, yeah. This, this so one. Good. So though I, I don't think we've shown this on stream. This this art was one of the first ones that was done, and and she um she drew torg with this sort of slightly oversized crown, and, and at first we were like, oh well, it's not really much like torg. Maybe we should fix that, and then but it was just so funny. Like, like it's. I, we kind of almost wish we had done Torg a little bit more, like goofball crown like that, because that's just. Yeah, I, I love this one actually. It's really good. Anyway, um, who else we got? It's the action any time. Any Torg star art is automatically the best art. Yes. Um, yeah, the card that replaces the other, Tip the Wench is mine now. That's her slightly better Tip the Wench. Yes. Uh, one card hit for two gold, regardless of additional costs, is rather large. In... Well, one time, one card any time hit for two gold yeah. is, is really quite good. So that's why we put a really expensive cost on it. Yeah, and then she's got two copies of, usually I'm a Copperhead, but today I'm a Goldilocks. Yeah. Get it? Get, get, yeah. get it? Get it? That's the joke! <laughs> which, which I like, because it's pay with someone else's gold. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, lol. So she's so, got a little um, bit of that gold shenanigans. Gold nanigans. Gold kitten. Who uh who else uh who else has has questions before we before we sign off? Any other questions about RDI eight? By the way, RDI eight is now live on Kickstarter. Go check it out. It's uh it's really fun. It's a standalone expansion for those of you who are you know joining us because the Twitch algorithm said you should come here. Uh uh, we're slow fest games. We make the Red Dragon in. Uh, it's a fun card game about drinking and gambling and such. And uh, we're running a Kickstarter for the latest standalone expansion. So uh, go check it out and back it. Red Dragon in eight. For the rest of you who have already been in the, all of these uh, chats forever, well, you you folks are cool too. But you already know about all that stuff I just um, spouted on about. Uh, have there anybody been any thoughts about turning any other hero into a boss? Um, Short version, not really. Um, longer version, look, it makes a lot of sense for Pookie since he's kind of an otherworldly thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be right. But, 
but we run into a bit of a problem where um, if we do it for any hero, we have to do it for all of them um, because because why, hey Slugfest, why didn't you do my favorite character? P.S. Every character is someone's favorite character. We have actual survey data proving this statement. So, yes. hey Slugfest, why didn't you do my favorite character? Well, doing now, you know, 50 some of, of these things is, frankly, we have more interesting things to do with our time in development than that. Yes. So, because eh, why not. not design new characters that would be better and more fun i think like doing characters that are from the backgrounds of things or or that sort of thing is is still presents like opportunities to do whole new stuff so that's why you get like you know piper the eagle eye sniper from battle for grayport was like that's a really cool character i kind of want that character to be the red dragon in in the red yeah dragon. and and that's that's more that's i don't know that's more fun to design it's more fun to play it's yeah um have you tried a massive 55 player game with every possible character lord no please do <laughs> not do that uh, uh and one thing we have mentioned on this stream before though um a couple of years a, f a few years ago we actually put together um rules for uh a giant red dragon in game but not uh if you ever if you've ever tried a grand melee in magic um uh it was sort of like a red dragon inversion of that where you're not actually playing you know 50 other players you're playing against the people next to you um and they're playing you know the people next to them and there are multiple turns happening all at the same time this is sort of a convention style possibility it's only a, so far, we haven't been able to try it ourselves. We know that one or two people who were uh, at conventions have tried this. Um, it has not been released to the public yet because it needs more testing. Um, but that's that's maybe a possibility um, when we can test it more when conventions start being a thing again. So maybe. But in the meantime, no, for the love of God, do not play a game that big. Yeah. Um, uh, like six you know four four to six is the sweet spot of this game eight is fine ten is the point where we start to say hey you should think about breaking it into two games and 12 is like oh my god no just just stop just don't yeah. know so, why uh, canon 817 oh. uh, canon 817 asks if does natalie's power jinx affect the erode costs of action cards uh Currently, I think yes, but that's a good question, and we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, erode. I'm making a note right now. Erode costs plus uh, power jinx. So, so I believe the answer is yes. It does uh, uh, affect that, um, but we're gonna make sure that that's the case and decide mm -hmm. that that's what we want, and then put it in the rules. Yeah uh let's of course see. that would also mean that the payoff for the for the glaring uh is also reduced also less yes so that's that's kind of the point there um earl of a 86 says uh oh so it's, it's just saying good things about our games thank you very much yeah uh, hooray we're his let's... first money or we're their first kickstarter oh well congratulations nice. on signing up for a kickstarter that will deliver on time <laughs> welcome to welcome to a a good and not like either you know badly run or victim of its own success kickstarter um ollie.exe someone mentioned it on the discord but we'd be planning to do a crossover like munchkin again in the future um no we're not against it uh we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see what um uh what what the what kind of opportunities arise mm -hmm. i mean so just... I, I can say, I, I mean, as you've probably seen, even from people just like in this chat, I'm sure there are at least one or two people in this chat right now who are like, Munchkin, no, we're never playing that. It's not real Red Dragon in me, right? So so will we do more crossovers? Maybe. Um, if we can find a way to, you know, uh, solve that problem, I guess is the is the best way to put it. Uh, have you thought about updating the RDI guide to inns and taverns? Um, what do you think needs to be updated? Uh, it's still a 
Pathfindery Guide to Inns and Taverns. You mean for the new <laughs> Pathfinder or something? Uh, let's see. Let hmm. Challenge. Will you ever do a character contest? Um, Spartan Seventy Nine. Will you ever do a character contest? Uh, maybe. We have no plans to do so right now. The last one we did was um, a ton of work. Uh, so. So maybe uh, if we let's thought see. that making games was hard, we found out that making books is harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's see. Munchkin, Bad Wallers Gaming. I for one love the Munchkin RDI decks. They are weird but neat. Yeah, that's kind of my opinion of them too. We played, I played, what was it, Spike a, a, f a few weeks ago on this stream. Yeah. And it's a it's it's a damn fun deck. Like, yeah, anyway. Those are those are really good. Still um, my guys, favorite uh, drink deck as well. Yeah, that drink deck is real good. Mm -hmm. uh, Velrock, Velrock, our artist who uh, does all of our three D art designs, uh, and and will be unveiling a new one for us soon. Ooh. Velrock says, have, "Have you guys considered making a sort of a, a guide to the world of RDI, a source source book that could be used to uh, campaigns?" We have considered that. Um, we are still sort of considering that the the real problem is um uh rpgs are a so as you know these kinds of hobby games that you find in specialty game stores are kind of a niche market uh, the problem is rpg material is kind of a niche market within that niche market so yeah we've we've thought about it we are we are still thinking about it it's um it tends to take a back burner to our you know, uh, card gamey stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, will having five characters affect the box for eight at all? Uh, Mega Tank asks. Uh, the answer is probably. We're not actually sure yet. Um, that that is a that is a thing we have to you know, we have to figure out with the manufacturer. Um, Marble llama apple jam. Oh, correct horse battery staple. I think I said. I think I said. <laughs> you that said that last, last time you read their name. I, no, no, no. I, I was. I, this is the same person. I yeah. vaguely remember saying that. Um, Marble llama apple jam. Would you consider seeing if Achievement Hunter could give you a shout out? Might get more people in the pub crawl. Um, I don't know if you're being ironic here. Um, they dropped their first video of this on their website today, and it's dropping on YouTube. So that's gonna be cool. So yeah, it's 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 real good. So so yes, expect an update about this tomorrow because the video dropped today on Rooster Teeth, um, and it's dropping tomorrow on YouTube. And yes, they, uh, it's Red Dragon in eight, played by Achievement Hunter. It's really fun. Um, so let's see. Uh, just smash up crossover would be cool. Um that uh, having an rdi like smash up deck would be pretty cool i'm not sure what a smash up themed red dragon in thing would look like but yeah maybe maybe it's which was the, the rdi uh, the fuck it's the taverns turning into kaiju and smashing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah which was the rdi munchkin crossover so a few years ago we did a um two character ally set that was spike and flower the um the you know the iconic character the iconic adventurers from munchkin and uh it was really fun to work with that team and they I, we think the product turned out really well but there's some you know there's some haters i mean aaron had um, a blast drawing it that, that is some of aaron's best work actually for us that is that is real good stuff uh let's see um wow the, the chat's like exploding here at the end um uh, let's see. There's a pack of cards from Munchkin. Yes, Eugene Fitzherbert. Um, there. So uh, we did we did a two ally pack uh, of Spike and Flower. They also did a what was it? Twenty card, thirty card, something like that. So, it, so, was, so, it was the so, Munchkin so, booster equivalent. Yeah, it, it was a Munchkin booster theme to the Red Dragon in, and it's that's also really funny and cool. Uh, let's see. Um, so yes, everybody's now reacting to us saying that Achievement Hunter did the thing. Yes, we were going to announce it tomorrow when it was on YouTube, but it's you know it's no secret there they they just posted today on Rooster Teeth and tomorrow on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, How do you spend the Kickstarter money besides manufacturing and shipping? I mean, cocaine. Uh, 
hookers and blow? Right? I mean, what, 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 what kind of answer do you want? Right? I mean, uh, it's it's hard we, to. We're a company. We, I, you know, we pay salaries. We pay manufacturing, taxes, shipping, we, uh, design, design, art, art. Right? So the um, art, the, the next art stuff. For Red <laughs> there's probably going to be even more this time because there's more stuff. But uh, you know, the art budget for a Red Dragon Inn base set is like twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, like it's a lot. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have said you know <laughs> because that will come back to haunt us later. But um, uh, that's, that's you, we're a, we're a running business. You know we. Uh, oh. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's tough to define exactly because <laughs> we're a fully operating business. Well, it, it is though, because uh, we're we have that design time, we have that artist payments that need to get made. There's the fulfillment. Um, if if we're putting in a manufacturing order for the new product and we're low on something else, we're like, hey, manufacturer, how about making some of this too? And so we, there are, there are some companies that do this. So this is, this is going to sound really kind of capitalistic for a second there. There, there are some, sometimes on Kickstarter, you see a, a you know, somebody who's, they've worked on this game in all of their spare time for five, 10 long time years. Right. And they, they come to that and they, um, th those are fine. By the way, those are fine. Those projects are great. Right. We're not that right. We're a, we're a company. We've been in business for what, 15 years now or something, 16 years. Gonna um, get a lie down. Wait, <laughs> 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 um, we, so I'm dying. Yeah, we we have to, you know, we have, we're, we're you know, we're an operating business, and so so yeah, of the money we make, um, a lot of it will go to that, you know, art, design, manufacturing, stuff like that. Taxes, um, fulfillment, taxes. If you've read anything about, I don't know if you've read any of the blogs, any of the many blogs out there about how to run a Kickstarter campaign. Jamie Stegmeier does one. Um, James Matthew did a good one uh, for his unfortunate and untimely passing. Uh, but they all say, they all say the same thing. They all say, you know, make sure you're doing the math right and make sure your math includes the taxes. Because otherwise you yeah. otherwise you suddenly owe the government a bunch of money and you're like, oh right, I didn't budget for that. So okay. anyway, long story short, what's it all going for? Well, it's all going for all the things, you know what I mean? We're because we're because we're an operating business doing things that aren't just uh, Red Dragon and Eight. For example, just the other day, um, I sent off uh, slightly revised files for a new print run of RDI one, three, and five, uh, which were which were uh, either low on or out of right now. So that's that's the kind of stuff we're doing and the kind of stuff we're paying for and. Yeah, I, now I'm not saying that you know we're taking the Kickstarter money for that, but but um, the Kickstarter money goes to making this game, and then the rest goes into the general fund that we use to do all the other stuff of the company, yeah. paying salaries and things. So I'm gonna I mean, I'm gonna shut up before I dig myself too much of a hole here. But <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of how that works. I, I enjoy uh, Otto see. becoming a rogue AI. No. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me grab that story link for the Phil story. Yes, because we were talking about the fun. Phil story. Pixels, pixels. If you had infinite money and talent to work with, what would your dream addition to RDI be? Uh, a a Netflix series uh, animated <laughs> by the guys that do uh, Castlevania, but Ooh, but yeah. not quite mature. Like let's let's yeah. aim for PG thirteen. Right. Yeah. Not less, so right. Not less, less nudity. Yeah, and uh, less gore because. Action There's times comedy. when I like gore, but this isn't one of them. <laughs> Chapman says, paying Jeff for more of his amazing writing, which sure that there should be more of. Yes, yes. Uh, we agree. Well, I mean, there's, Jeff would write for it. <laughs> there's, there's plans in the works, and yes, we, we, do, we do pay Jeff for these yeah. writings. He's not doing that out of the goodness of his heart. Um, let's see. Although his heart is very good. His heart is, his heart is excellent. <laughs> Paw um, Patrol crossover. Good. Short <laughs> stories. So Henchman Chris, all of those short stories are fantastic. Yes, we agree. And yes, we want to make more of them. And uh, that that will that that will very likely happen. Um, yeah. 
All right. Okay. That was a lot of questions. Whew, thanks questions. for thanks for chatting. Thanks for all the questions. Um, we're gonna sign off. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, you all already know this, but go back RDI eight. Woo! Woo! And uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. Hey Jen, what's next week? Next week is uh, let's see here. I gotta I gotta think. <laughs> Nerodia boss mode stream. <laughs> See, there we Jen, go. <laughs> when Jen can do sight gags, this stream is so much better when Jen can do <laughs> sight gags. Like, okay, next, Jen, next week you have to like slip on a banana peel or something. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I got, I got better sight gags than that for y'all. <laughs> Don't Eye worry, I'll take that as a note and I'll make. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yes. Um, you know, we were, we we're trying to, you know, keep it coy, but of course the questions all come beforehand. <laughs> so yes, we're doing boss mode next week. Jeez. It's come on people. Awesome. Of course it. we are. So, um, so yes, thank you all for being here. Join us next week for Nerodia boss mode. Woot woot. Mm. And, uh, yeah, we will, uh, we will, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.